Hello, Lieutenant Kayla Detmer here from Star Trek Discovery, here to ask you to join in with Commodore Ty to discover the world of pop culture. The adventure has begun. Incoming message from Commodore Ty. Hello, this is your Commodore, Ty Coles. We might be getting some positive news coming out of Lucasfilm and Star Wars. Rumor alert, people. Bridge to all decks. Condition alert. All decks. Condition alert. So, we get this from rinkyofnerds.com. Karen Gillan reportedly eyed for live action Mary Jade role, and this sounds very interesting because Karen has actually been doing very well in her recent roles as Nebula, so seeing her in a Star Wars role would be very interesting to see. So let's get into the article. Star Wars has very detailed lore that has been developed throughout numerous books and comics, but initially Disney didn't really care about Star Wars rather expansive expanded universe. No shit, because Kathleen Kennedy is a moron. But Lucasfilms has changed its stance about that in recent years. Which, yeah, because you have Favreau and Filoni doing a good chunk of it now, so... And they actually care about the property, whereas the head of Lucasfilm doesn't give a rat's ass. And she's hell-bent on destroying the franchise. <laughs> they have, in fact, shown interest in canonizing a bit of that lore. Please do, please do. After all, the Skywalker saga has ended, to much to grin, and, a, and it was a whimper of an ending, and there are no big continuous movies on the horizon for now well after the last three that's a that might be something good because the last three weren't that good like force awakens was good but had its problems last jedi was just other crap and uh, rise of skywalker was trying to clean up the mess but couldn't clean it all up tried to do too much with too little J.J. Uh, Abrams in The Rise of Skywalker included several references and hints to famous Sith lords hailing from the Old Republic. Hawkeye viewers will know the one of the Sith lords mentioned was Darth Raven. But this is just one movie instance. Know that the Disney Plus shows aren't far behind as well. In The Mandalorian, David Filoni and John Favreau included Admiral Thrawn. This particular decision brought joy to a lot of fans since Admiral Thawne is loved by many. In fact, the heir to the Empire novels is considered to be some of the best Star Wars material out there. Yeah, no kidding. Live action Mary Jade coming soon? Geekosities Mike Sutton reported that future projects will be drawn from books by Timothy Zahn. One particular thing that Disney isn't interested in is including Luke Skywalker's wife in the books, Mary Jane. Apparently, Disney is planning on introducing her, and Karen Gilligan is getting eyed for the role. Well, it's difficult to imagine that Nebula, or Amy Pond, actress portraying Mary Jade right now, but she has time and time again shown amazing acting chops, which is true. She has done an amazing job with Nebula, and she was a quite solid companion for the 11th Doctor. So, it will certainly be interesting to see her in this in the role. But no matter who plays the character, it's clear that alongside her we'll be seeing Luke as well. If they do Luke the way they did in the final few minutes of Mandalorian, and not like they did in The Last Jedi, I think we're in for an amazing show or project. It's possible that uh, another actor will be cast as young Luke Skywalker since Mark Hamill is too old to portray the character now. Yep, and a lot of it is pointed towards Sebastian Stan. Of course, Disney can use de-aging technology, but that will be way too expensive even for the House of Mouse. Yeah, no kidding. Mary Jade was the right hand of the Emperor 
and she tried killing off Luke because of the severe crime he committed against the mighty empire. But of course she changed her path once she met the legendary Skywalker. She was not just Luke's wife, but his student and the mother of his son, Ben Skywalker, as well. They might have to change the names and stuff about that. Mary J is an important character of the Legends continuity, and she also plays an important role in the forming of the New Republic. Of course, the sequel trilogies would need some change to be made to her story, but overall, fans could get to see her soon. This is hoping. Overall, no matter who gets cast, we are certainly excited that Mary Jane will be making the transition from book to live action. As for where she could show, it looks like the rumored Skywalker, Luke Skywalker spinoff show will be the right place to start. So that is the bulk of it. It's interesting to see that I think they released this stuff because of all the crap the High Republic is getting and all the negative publicity they've been getting since the Gina Carano firing. So I believe this is to appease fans because they're picking a character that is very well loved in uh, the extended universe. And they're picking a... And with Karen Gillan, with her acting, she's actually done quite well in the role she's been in and she's very well known in sci-fi. So this might work. We'll have to pay more attention to what's coming along. But this could be a good thing for Star Wars, especially now since of what Kathleen Kennedy has been doing. So there is definitely a, a rift happening in Lucasfilm. And if Favreau and uh, Filoni get a hold of this, it's going to be gold. And if Kathleen Kennedy gets a hold of it, uh, say goodbye to another popular character. So for your Commodore Ty Coles, live long and prosper, hailing frequencies close. Thank you for watching the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, watch one of my many other videos, and if you like what you see, you can support the channel by donating to my PayPal. So for Commodore Ty, live long and prosper all, and for now, until next time, the hail and frequencies are closed.